last time was it two years um things have been progressing really well you know a, a, a lot of new music you know um went to a lot of different places we've been on tour um you know a lot of first time experiences from trinidad you know to london to all over the world um you know so um like it's just it's just going up it's like a elevator you know what i mean so I just want to thank God, all the fans, all the supporters, you know, and all you, yes, you know, especially right now, the, all the love and support, I don't know. First time experience, and I actually went to Barbados twice for the year. I went for Sokatology, and then I went back for Krapova, um, for Bucket Fest. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. You see, you know more than me. <laughs> Yeah, it was a great experience. You know, big up everybody in Barbados. I'm definitely looking forward to going back to Barbados again. Crop over. You know, well, 25 8 to me was the first, you know, so the, the first song that really, really kind of more through, you know, more universal, I should say, you know, you know wherever Soka plays or wherever Soka lies, you know what I mean? Um, and then this year with uh, Conquer Me, that was, the, that was the first release. The first song to come out of the gate and you know start making noise and start creating a buzz for songs like Lockdown and Party in Eighty and stuff like that. So definitely, um, I think every song have its own, its own little vibe and its own little lean. But I would say Twenty Five Eight was the first, and you know then come coming. Just try to just be real as possible. Because when it be real as possible, the people on them could relate to it. You know what I mean? Um, regardless if you're singing about party, if you're singing about a positive message. You know, um, if you really listen to my lyrics, it's, it's, it's real. And you know what I'm saying? Like, and the craziest thing, like you asked me this question, and uh, the, the last interview when we did, right? It was, it was the time I was making 25 8 And the craziest thing is this, right? Soka inside, right? This list. I was asked a question the last time I was here on this 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 soca inside they say um trinidadians like the, this party a lot and i said we used party 25 8 not 24 7 i don't know i can't remember if it was on camera or off camera but i remember saying it we did it in um i think it was to the rose on the roof right and going back home on the plane i actually vibes that song 25 8 so that song that that term was actually born in London. If you take a picture, don't talk me on the side. I, I actually, I actually gained a real, like, um, a, a real moment, you know, so come on up, you know what I mean? Um, it was like right before I went on stage, but I didn't really cry, cry, but shed a little, shed a little two, two tears, you know what I mean? But it was a cry of joy because like I say, you know, I, I from where I came from, you know, and, and where I live now, which is New York, you know, it was always said that, you know, it's, it's so, it was so difficult now for me going back home and, you know, being accepted, you know, back as a Trinidadian, which was weird to me because I am a Trinidad, you know what I mean? So it was always kind of hard, a little more difficult. And, you know, with 25 8 and even with Conquer this year, and with Ramaji, and a lot of people always thought I, sh I shouldn't make it, you know, any finals, you know, I guess with either one of those songs. And I make it with Lockdown. And um, you know, it, it, it was just an experience of just seeing the crowd and, 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 and just seeing just captain that moment, just living in that moment I should say. It just kinda yeah, it was overwhelming a little bit. So I shed a little bit two tears on the loop. But now I was saying it in public, so it's like <laughs> Yeah, I did. Um but the last time I cried was uh, uh, yeah, a little while ago. I can't really remember. Just go tell me I I mean, first thing, first thing, as soon as I open my eye, I had to thank God. That is, that is a must, you know, that, that can, cannot be forgotten. And then anything after that, but my morning ritual, after I pray, is drink tea. After I brush my teeth, all right, get up in the morning, pray, brush my teeth, and drink tea. That is every single morning. That is if I'm in London, Trinidad, New York, that is any way. Anything else after that, good afternoon. Like Lipton. I like Lipton, the regular Lipton. I also like ginger tea and peppermint. But my number one tea is, is the regular Lipton, you know. New music, of course. Um, new producers I'm working with. Um, I already recorded like five songs for 2015 already. The first release is actually releasing today, like right now. You know, it's a, it's a song with myself and Five Star Aki, the called Untamed. 
you know, big up Joe, Joe Van James, you know what I'm saying? Me, him and myself co write the song, um, produced by Monster Peace from Barbados, you know what I mean? So, big up Peter Coffin and the whole camp, you know what I mean? Um, and co produced by Pencil in Trinidad. So, like I say, is after that, I uh, work with producers like Kubiashi, I work with London Future, I work with Komen Dubois again, I work with Attic Studios, um, I work with it's just too much to mention right now. I can't remember everybody off my head, but let's look out for a lot of new music. I will be releasing more music this year than any other year, you know, prior to this year. You know, we have a lot of good productions, you know, have a lot of nice rhythms in the emails. So I'm real excited. So, can't wait to reach back home and go in the studio and just zoom out, you know what I mean? <laughs>